Hello everyone. Welcome back to B10X channel. Today we'll be looking into transports function in Excel. Okay. Imagine your requirement is to shift the entire set of rows into columns or from columns into rows. Or you want to change the orientation of a data set from vertical to horizontal or from horizontal to vertical. So at that time, we will be in need of transpose function. Okay. And we'll be using chat GPT to guide us. Because imagine there may be resources who they may not be aware what is transpose function. So chat GPT will guide us. Okay. If you are someone using Excel in your day to day job, let me tell you something. You are going to be replaced unless you are integrating AI in your Excel. If you integrate AI in your Excel workflow, let me tell you something. You are going to be 10x more productive and you, you will be getting that promotion that you deserve. If you want to learn all this, join me for my two hours workshop on Excel using AI. I will show the Excel sheet. This is our requirement. We have fruits column and the price column. And for example purpose, I have given uh, five rows, only five rows, okay? And and our requirement is to, for example, let's take E, okay? I need the rows to be in the columns. For example, I should get the output like this. Fruits should be here and price must be here. Here it should be 50, uh, here it should be apples. And here it should be 50. And here it should be oranges. Like so on, so on. Okay. Since is five values, only there are five rows, we can easily modify. But imagine you have lakhs of uh, rows and you have uh, a huge data. So at that time, it may not be possible. Okay. So in this time, we'll be using chat GPT. Okay. So before entering into the chat GPT, one important update, as you all aware, that AI is taking over the world in such a short span of time. We have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI, and you don't want to get affected by this recession wave. So AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will replace your job. So if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our three hours AI tools workshop in which we, we will teach you about the best AI tools to upskill, increase your productivity and enhance your career. All the installation steps and other AI tools will be explained detailed in our B10X program. So make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description. Okay. So this will be the B10X link. Okay. We go over here. So go to this page B10X.in and you can go below. You can go to this office using these are the four upcoming workshop. Go to office using a workshop register now so the next workshop will be on this on this date and uh, you can see why to join this course and uh, what you will learn in this workshop so don't miss to join in this workshop guys okay so let's go back to our coding part so as i said we need to bring from e1 to oh, like it will come from i2 right okay e1 to i2 okay so let me check with gpt I have, I will make, I have five rows. Five rows with two columns. Columns from A1 to B5, right? From A1 to B5. B5. So, need to convert all the rows into column at E1 to I2 because from E1 to I2. Anywhere you can keep guys. For example purpose, I have given E1. You can keep from F1 and add another five more because we have five rows. Okay. For understanding purpose, I have given over here. Okay. So E1, E1 to I2. I2, give the steps to change via Excel transpose function. Okay. So, So let's give. let's wait. Okay. 
So it's giving to transpose your data in Excel from five row two column A1 to B5 in a two row five column. So first select the range where you want to transpose the data. In your case, this will be from E1 to E2. Make sure this range is empty to avoid overwriting. Okay. So in our case, the E1 to I2. Okay. This is empty. Okay. And uh, overwriting. Let's see. Let's finish it. Okay. So then the next part, first select the range where you want to. Uh, and we have already read. Okay. So I am, I'll be selecting. Okay, so E1 to I1 have selected. Then click on the click on the first cell of the selected range. Okay. And uh, I need to give transpose function. They are given like this. If you can't remember here also, we can go to formulas and uh, look up and reference. There will be transpose. Okay, I will be giving the column from here. Okay, and We will give and since this is that and it is giving instead of pressing enter you need to press control plus shift plus enter okay this is for the old excel type now we need not to give that okay so we got the result okay guys see and uh, exactly it can I make it bold that's it okay and what it is telling instead of pressing enter this is important as a transpose function requires in array formula after pressing, we'll add curly braces. Okay, these are the steps for understanding purpose it has given. Okay, check the transpose data. After completing the above steps, your data from should now be transposed to E1, E1 to I2. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so same if you want to do from here. Okay. Let's see, without giving the columns, we will try. Okay. I want to be here going to formula local transpose. Let's give this. Let's see how it is. Yeah, same. Okay. It has done the same reverse. Okay. Like whatever we got there, we have got it. So this is called transpose, guys. Okay. So remember with array formula like this, you need to edit or delete the transpose data you must select the entire range E1 to I2. So these are all the extra information it has given, okay? So this is with the five rows, we have given a demo, okay? But imagine in the real-time scenarios, you may uh, need to face huge amount of data. So at that time, this transpose function will definitely help you, okay, guys? So I hope you enjoyed this session. Take care, bye-bye, see you again later.